Welcome to Build Your Arsenal. Today we're looking at the new Smith & Wesson M&P 10mm M2.0 and what you should add to your arsenal instead. There are four major configurations of this handgun, a 4-inch model and a 4.6-inch model, both with or without thumb safeties. You have a stainless barrel and slide with the Armor Knight finish. They have an optic cut, 15 plus 1 capacity, a flat face trigger, and the 18 degree grip angle. So what's the problem? Why am I saying you should add something else to your arsenal? I did a video recently about why you should stop buying Smith & Wesson. It's been very popular and the Smith & Wesson fanboys have been hitting up the comments to let me know that I'm a heretic. They don't want to address any of the well-documented points I bring up. They use a bunch of very failed, leftist, progressive arguments. I think a lot of their fury is that I said something bad about the Clintons. I encourage you to go back and watch that video, but the three main points are that Smith & Wesson colluded with the Clintons, they're promoting progressive social justice causes, and they're moving to Tennessee like other progressives are doing after they've wrecked their own home state. So I understand looking at the new Smith & Wesson M&P 10mm M2.0. New guns are always alluring at first, but there are some awesome alternatives. And in all honesty, the new M&P is just Smith & Wesson's very late attempt to have their own version of something that's already out there, much like their Shield Plus. It's just very derivative. To be fair, I won't venture off into 1911s or revolvers, and I'll stick with other polymer striker-fired handguns for alternatives in this video. They will have you completely forgetting Smith & Wesson even exists. First up, let's look at what Glock brings to the table for 10mm. Glock gives you the Glock 20, which is their standard size 10mm. It has a capacity of 15 rounds as well. It's also lighter than the Smith & Wesson. This has a 4.6 inch barrel. Then you have the Glock 26. That's the subcompact model. This has a standard capacity of 10, but you can use the 15 round magazines with it too. This has a 3.78 inch barrel. Lastly, there's the Glock 40, the long slide. It has a six inch barrel and is in the modular optic system MOS configuration. With Glock, you have its reliability and accuracy in an unparalleled aftermarket for modifications. The Glock 20 is almost untouchable here. Now let's take a look at Springfield Armory. I can already hear the objections. They are anti-Second Amendment too. Before you accuse me of being a Springfield Armory fanboy, it's well documented that I am a Wilson Combat fanboy. I would trade all my Springfield Armories for just one really nice Wilson Combat. Without going too far off topic though, Springfield Armory is a much different story than Smith & Wesson. They definitely screwed up, but they have a track record of being pro-Second Amendment prior to 2017, and they took swift action when they messed up. Heads rolled. They apologized profusely. I'm not saying that what they did is okay, but they did repent. Smith & Wesson isn't even sorry for what they have done and they continue to do. Yes, Smith & Wesson fired Schultz and changed ownership again after bleeding cells, but the new owner was fully willing to be compliant with the Clinton Agreement. They have an HR department that is completely controlled by social justice warriors. Springfield Armory is a huge contrast from the complete silence of Smith & Wesson over the Clinton Agreement, and they only have the boilerplate EEO stuff not a communist manifesto like Smith & Wesson. So first you have the XDM. It's undergone a zero failure 10,000 round torture test. The hammer forged 4.5 match grade barrel is super accurate. The XDM still carries a full 15 plus one rounds on board. It also comes in an OSP optical sight pistol threaded version with suppressor height sights. Then you have the 5.25 inch competition series XDM. It comes with fiber optic front and adjustable rear sights. Lastly, Springfield Armory offers the XDM Elite 3.8 inch compact optical sight pistol. This pistol packs in 11 plus one rounds, plus a removable mag well to use with the 15 round magazines. It also features the excellent Meta Match Enhanced Trigger Assembly System Trigger. You can buy this version with or without the Hex Dragonfly Red Dot. 
The XDM line is just feature rich with match grade components at stock handgun prices. They also do an awesome job of taming the 10 millimeter recoil. You can't go wrong with Glock or Springfield Armory. They make fantastic firearms and are leaders in the 10 millimeter polymer striker fired world. While the Smith & Wesson is probably a decent handgun, I don't give my money to Clinton AOC Pinko Communist, especially when they pretend to be on your side. With a friend like Smith & Wesson, who needs enemies? And that's why there are Glocks and Springfield Armory firearms in my arsenal and absolutely no Smith & Wessons. Thanks for watching Build Your Arsenal and see you next time.